welcome to lecture 29. In this lecture, I uh, will be showing you experiment with microphone. Okay. So, we know how, what a microphone does. So, I will be showing you the experiment, how do we interface this microphone along with the uh, STM board and uh, I will show you two experiment. Uh, in one experiment, uh, it will display the number of claps and if we clap in one experiment, so it will, it senses some sound. If it senses that, it will glow the LED for some time. Okay? So, let us look into it. So, in this lecture, I will be discussing about microphone interfacing and some experiments using microphone and finally, I will demonstrate. What is a microphone? So, it is a type of transducer that converts acoustical energy that is the sound waves into electrical energy that is the audible signal. Okay. We see here there is a sound waves coming and there is a diaphragm here and a permanent magnet. So, some operation happens here and there is of course, a coil. And uh, this, these sound waves actually generate some kind of electrical signal here. This is the typical microphone interfacing circuit. Okay? If you see this, uh, you have a number of connection here with some resistance with ground and all other things. But what generally is done is that the whole set of interfacing that is displayed here is for the ease of interfacing is actually put up inside this particular chip. And we can use this particular chip for interfacing. So, this is the microphone. If you use this single microphone, you have to connect it with uh, the circuit as I have shown you in the previous slide for the connection. But if you use this particular microphone, it comes with driver circuit as a but as a whole module okay and there is a bcc ground and an output pin which is available okay that through which we will be connecting so it can work with power supply of 3.3 volt to 5 volt and the digital output it is 0 or 1 depending on whether the sound is detected or not and we can directly interface with the microcontroller here okay uh, we can directly connect it to the microcontroller or we can also use it through analog pin as well. So, I will directly come to the experiment because the connection is fairly straightforward here. First thing that I will be implementing is implement a clap switch where an LED can be turned on using the sound from a clap. So, here the microphone circuit is first interfaced with analog pin A1. This analog in object converts the input voltage to a floating point number between 0 and 1. We have already seen that and through experimentation, we can determine this threshold value. When you clap, what value you get? So, the same thing you can see we can we have tested using cool term okay, which would depend on the noise of the environment of course. The microphone module used however generated two level digital output here and a LED is connected to the digital out pin D2 where the LED will glow if D2 pin is at 0 and whenever it detects that sound through clap that we make, it will make the LED turn on for 3 seconds and then it is turned off. Okay? So, this is all about this experiment. This is the connection diagram. So, this out is connected uh, with uh, analog pin A1. This ground is connected to the ground and this is connected to the 5 volt and this LED the anode is connected through a resistance to BCC 
and the cathode is connected to pin D2. This is all about the connection. This is the program that is basically used here. Analog in, we have given the name analog underscore value, this is the A1 value. This is the digital out, we call it LED which is connected to D2. And in the main program in the while loop, initially we are sending LED value 1. LED will glow when LED equals to 0, but we are making initially LED value off. And then we read this value, this analog value, analog underscore value dot read from port A1 and which is stored in MES. We have seen that this is what is the, again the calibration. We have seen that when we clap, then the value that we receive is greater than or equal to 0 0.7. Okay. So, if it is that, then MES greater than or equals to 0 0.7, then we are making LED equals to 0. We wait for 3 seconds and then we make the LED off again by making LED equals to 1, which is connected to port D2. This is all about the code that we are doing for connecting, uh, for lighting the LED on through a clamp. Okay. We will see in the interfacing experiment how it is done. Next, uh, the next experiment is uh, we interface this microphone and a 7 segment display which we already have seen to the microcontroller and display the number of claps on the 7 segment display. Okay. So, whenever I make a clap, the LED, uh, the 7 segment value will get incremented and when it reaches 9 again the same way, it will turn back to 0 again. So, it uh, whenever we make number of claps, it will go on incrementing the value. Okay. It detects the clap sound and it displays in the uh, 7 segment LED. Let us now see the circuit diagram. This is the circuit diagram. The circuit diagram of this part is clear. Here this microphone module is again connected out to A1. This is to ground, this is to BCC and this is a common anode which is connected through this resistance to pi volt. So, this is all about the connection. Now, this is the code. This code I am not discussing which is a straightforward code. Uh, what I will discuss here is uh, this one analog in val that we have taken is A1 and this is the connection for the 7 segment which we already know. This is also the part of the code which we have already discussed. Now, look into this code. In the main what we are doing in this while one, we read the val through port A1. If the value is greater than or equals to 0 0.7, it the we have initialized num which gets incremented. We wait for 0 0.1 second and then we again uh, we then uh, I mean this while loop ends here. So, after this incrementing we wait. If the num becomes 9 greater than 9, then num is made to 0. Otherwise, we display the num. Okay. So, each time the num gets incremented, it is also getting displayed using the 7 segment display. Okay. So, this is all about the two codes that are there with uh, the microphone that we have performed. Now, we will move on and we will show you the interfacing experiment uh, that is uh, there basically with the two codes. Okay. So, now uh, today I will be showing you the experiment using the microphone. Using the microphone, what experiment I will be showing, I have already discussed. Uh, what is the experiment? The experiment is that when you make a clap, okay, 
depending on that an LED will glow. Okay. So, uh, this microphone will be sensing some physical parameters that is sound in terms of uh, some voltage or whatever inside the circuit it has got and then it will do what? It has uh, got certain pins that will give you some analog value. It will be connected to the analog port and using those analog port internally it conver get converted into get converted into some digital value and that digital value you have to read. So, prior doing this uh, as I have already shown you this using a software that is cool term what you have to do you have to first check that when there is no sound what value you are receiving and when there is a sound what value you are receiving ok. So, depending on that it will work again there will be some noise uh, in the environment etcetera so that also you have to take care accordingly you will get the value. So, I will now show you the experiment using this microphone uh, and with along with STM board ok. Let us see how the circuit works. Ok. So, this is the microphone ok. So, this entire thing is the circuit this itself is a microphone. You can actually have this microphone with you and then if you know how to make the circuit you can make it uh, and then you can have your own circuit with this single microphone. But uh, sometime uh, it, it becomes difficult to uh, actually do everything properly that is why it is better that we do with some kind of device like this. So, this is the microphone this is this particular chip. So, we see that it has got three lines BCC then ground and then out. So, this one is BCC, this one is the next one is ground and this one is out. So, this out will be connected to the analog port and this will be connected to BCC, this will be connected to ground. Let us see the connection now. So, I put this like this. As I said, the left signal is BCC. I will be connecting this to 5 volt. The next one is ground. connecting it to ground and the next one I will be connecting with analog output. Here I am using the port the pin A1. So, I am connecting it with A1 ok. So, this is what I have made the connection with uh, microphone. As I said whenever this microphone will receive a uh, sound it will glow an LED. So, I have to connect this LED ok. We already know the connection of LED. So, how we are making it here is like this. This is the anode. So, anode is directly I am connecting this to 3.3 volt that is present in this STM board and cathode I am connecting it to port D2. The way I have programmed you can connect to any port you want. So, as I have programmed it in this fashion, so this is how I make the connection. I just repeat this connection once more. As I said, there are three signals that are coming out. Uh, so, three points are there in this uh, microphone. One is BCC, another is out, uh, one another is uh, ground and another is out. So, the out is connected, this is the out which is connected to port uh, analog port A2. This one is connected to ground 
and this one is connected to 5 volt PCC and this particular uh, LED is one end is connected with uh, BCC another end is connected to port D2. So, we will send some values through this port D2 if the we have uh, experienced some sound here and then only this LED will glow. Okay. Let us see how it works. So now I have already discussed uh, with you the code. Now I will be dumping the code into this board. Okay, so we have already dumped the code. Now I will clap. You see, when I clapped, the LED is glowing for 3 seconds. I will do it once more. Okay. Okay. So, this is the experiment uh, that we did with this microphone. So, the experiment is very straightforward. We just have to make sure that the connections are all right and then depending on uh, the sound level, the LED will glow. So, where is the application of this small thing? So, you can think of a notice board uh, where you do not have to put light during the night time. Okay? So, when somebody comes near to the uh, notice board, uh, you can actually make a clap and with that you can see that uh, the light inside the notice board will glow and you can actually see what is written there in the notice board. This is one. Also we can do this with some kind of motion sensor. Okay. Whenever somebody passes through it okay, through the notice board or it senses that a person is there okay, during that time also the light can be switched on and you can read the content what is there in the notice board. So, we can I mean we can use this kind of uh, um, devices uh, or this kind of small uh, microphone etcetera in many other applications. So, in continuation of my previous experiment using this uh, microphone, I will be showing you one more experiment where I have already made all the connection. We already know the connection of this 7 segment and you already know that uh, using this uh, microphone you have a BCC, you have a ground, you have a BCC and uh, one analog input which is coming in. Okay. So, what I will do in this experiment basically is that uh, I will clap okay, and it will display the number of claps in a 7 segment. Okay, this is the experiment that I will be doing. Okay. So, I have uh, the microphone with me, I have 7 segment display and the microcontroller board. I will be, I have already integrated in the previous experiment. So, it is all the same, I have not uh, taken it off, I will just now display it in the 7 segment display. Okay. Let us see. Okay, uh, fine. So, I will first let me connect it. Okay, this is the microphone, and okay, let me just take this out, otherwise, it will take the input. Okay, so this is the microphone I am talking about. We already did that experiment where uh, whenever there is a clap, a light is, a LED was glowing. Now, what I will do? Whenever I will clap, the number of claps will be displayed in this 7 segment display. Okay? And uh, when the clap reaches 9, again it will be reset to 0. Okay? So, I, uh, the connections are straightforward with 7 segment with microphone. The analog input is connected to uh, this uh, port 
A1 and VCC ground for this microphone and for common anode 7 segment uh, from the common point it is connected to VCC. Okay. So, now I will connect. So, we will dump the code now. I have made one clap. You can see it is showing one. And after 9, it will become 0 again. So, I just repeat the same thing. Okay. So, this experiment was fairly simple uh, that I was just counting the number of claps that I am making using this microphone and I was dis displaying it in this 7 segment. So, these are the two experiments that we have done with microphone. You can try out doing many other examples.